Good morning, kindergarten. So now we're going to be working on our fish for our aquarium. Now, all you need is a regular old piece of paper and some crayons. Now I'm going to show you a little shortcut here in a second. But for right now, just a regular old piece of paper that we're going to fold twice. So I'm going to fold it in half one time. And I'm going to fold it in half a second time. There we go. And now I'm going to open this little bad boy up. And you can see that I've got four parts of my paper. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to be trying to do either a fish or a fishy friend inside each of these. And the reason why we did this is because you don't have to draw this line, but maybe it'll help you all to see this better, is because I want your fish to be kind of big. I don't want them to be too tiny. I want them to be fairly large, about as big as each of these. Now, how do you make a fish? Well, we learned how to do that last time. Hopefully, you guys remember these shapes. You can start off with a circle. You can start off with an oval. You can start off with a football. The tail is always going to be a little triangle, and you're always going to make these little fins. Now, I'll do one little example over here, and then that'll be that. So I think right here, I'll go ahead and start by making a fairly big football. I'll make the little triangle sticking in here. I'll give him one eye, a little mouth, his gills, his fin at the top, his fin at the bottom, and then of course the last thing I need are the textures. He's got scales on the body and little lines on the tail and the fin. Now if I want to, of course, I can get crayons and I can start coloring this little guy in. That's fine. Now, I can also draw little fishy friends. If you don't remember the fishy friends, fishy friends are located over here. We had these to look at. So we've got a little seahorse, we got a starfish, crab. These are just some of them. You can make up some other ones if you want to. But if you'd like to, you can go ahead and try to put some of those in here. So I think right here, I'll just make a little oval. I'll make an oval that has some little eyes up here. I'll go ahead and make some little pinchers. There we go. And then I'll even put some little feet down here. And there's my little crab. And again, I can color this in. Now, if you want to do this on white paper, you can. Another thing you can do is use construction paper. But you're only going to use a quarter sheet of paper. So you don't have to use a whole sheet of construction paper for this. In fact, over here, you can see that I actually have one, two, three, four. And it equals the same size as one sheet of paper. I just made them different colors so that it would be a little bit easier to color them in. And on the backs, you can see that I have already made some cool little fish and some fishy friends. So I got four of these. And they're fairly good size. There we go. Now after this, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut all these guys out. And I don't want you to watch me cut these out. So I'm going to go ahead and speed time and cut them out right now. And so now I've gone ahead and cut all of these out and they are ready to go. Now it doesn't matter whether you use the temper paints or whether you use the watercolors to do this. Either one of these are going to work just fine. But we're going to try and take these guys right here and put them on here. Now obviously for kindergarten it's very hard to cut these out. So please just take your time, do your best, and if you need to get some help that's fine. But we want these cut out nice and neat and ready to go. Now I'm going to take these little bad boys and I'm just going to start putting them on here. Now you don't have to use all of them. You might just come in here and say, oh my gosh, I don't have enough room for these. And if you don't, then you don't have to use them all. I think I'll put this little guy down here. I think I'll put this guy here. I think I'll put this guy here. It doesn't look like Turtle's got a lot of room. Maybe I'll put him way down here or maybe I'll have him coming up this way. There, they all fit more or less now. Like I said, you don't have to use them all. In fact, I'm only interested in seeing one fish and maybe one other cutout. You could have two fish, you could have a fish and a fishy friend, that's fine. Two things is good enough, but if you have all four, if you can actually make them fit, well, good on you. So, uh, mine are very big. Kindergarten usually doesn't have a problem with that. Kindergarten tends to draw pretty small. Now, after this, we're going to use our glue to glue these on. Now, I've told you this before, we want to use dot, dot, not a lot. So, I'm just going to use a little dot here, 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 all around here. And then I'm going to spread it with my finger and then I'm going to stick it down. And that should be good enough. The one thing I definitely don't want you to do is please don't put a whole bunch on here. That makes just a terrible mess. So please just dot, 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 especially on the edges. Putting it in the middle doesn't usually help very much. You want it as close to the edges as you can. So let's put this little guy here. And if it doesn't stick right away, if it starts coming up, don't worry about it. It will stick here in a second. I'm just going to put dots. And then over here, I think I'll put some little dots. And let me show you why it doesn't matter if it sticks very well, because when I'm done here, I want you to notice sometimes glue needs time to stick. So I'm going to turn this upside down, and I'm just going to press it. I'm going to press it for about 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. And when you push it and turn it over, you're going to find it sticks a little bit better. See that? So this is pretty much done. Now, the very last thing you can do, if you want to, you don't even have to do this, but you can try to make some little dots or some little um, but air bubbles here. You can always put a little bit of seaweed down here, and you can use you know, pretty much whatever you want to. If you can use crayons, that's fine. This might actually be a time for you to finally break out some of those paints and add some last little finishing touches. Just add some little pieces of uh, you know, seaweed, rocks, things like that down here. There you go. So that looks all nice and neat. I could even be really, really fancy and make my little air bubbles using white. We don't get to use white very often. So here I am making some little bubbles, 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 bubbles. And there. And we're done.